how's it going guys so today uh, we're gonna be doing some logging we're gonna be doing using our chipper and our scorpion king our buffalo and some trailers I know in my last video I said we we're gonna be doing some straw bells but unfortunately my crops aren't ready yet I'm still I still have workers over there planting my fields and, um, so yeah guys so for I've seen a lot of people that like to before they chip the tree stops I mean the tree logs they like to cut it in small pieces and then use a chipper and I mean everybody has their preferences and I mean everybody has their own ways to tackle it but I've seen it that it's harder and more time consuming to actually get it done so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to show you guys how to well, I would say kind of save some time while you chip some trees but you're gonna be chipping the whole tree instead of little parts you know so first step what I like to do is just find any tree any tree you like doesn't matter I mean well it has to be these types of trees right here in the forest but I mean it doesn't matter the size doesn't matter uh, let me see if I can get a good grip on it as you can see right there Everything's on with the harvester. I guess I'll just turn it off. Let's turn it on again. Alrighty, there we go. I like to get it almost all the way to the bottom as I can and cut it. So, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to drive this tree. As you guys see it here, hole, we're going to drive it over here to our chipper. So we're just, we're just going to drag it over here. And we're just going to place it there. We're going to turn off the harvester and place it there. That's it. And now, we come with this tractor right here, unfold this, and then let's grab it. Let's try to grab it where the leaves start, if we can, if it's possible, and not, let's just grab it from wherever you can, and just drag it, just drag it a little bit over here. Make it more maneuverable for you. I mean, doesn't. We're gonna have to turn it around. I mean, we're not gonna be able to harvest it or chip it away, just like that. How it is right here. So that's something we we're gonna have to do. Well, let me just try and get a good grip on it. Okay. So now we're gonna raise it all we can. And turn it. Alright. Oops. That was a fail. Oh man. Oh man. Alright. That was a big fail, guys. That tree's just gonna keep going. So we're just gonna push it back. I'm crushing everything today. Uh oh. Alright, so I guess the tree decided to come back. Alright, so now. Let's just try and grab it. A little bit where all the leaves start to grow on it. Alrighty, so let's open it up a little bit, and right there. So we got a good grip on it. Just pull it back. And as you can see, the whole tree is off the ground.
And you can see right there, just keep turning it. Just put it to the bottom. Turn it more. And then just grab it again, guys. Don't be afraid of the tree. Oh man, alright. Alright, I guess this will work. I mean, we already got the tree almost the way we need it, so... I'll just open the claws a little bit more. Get a good grip on it. And then push it away with the boom. Alrighty, so right there guys, as you can see, it's kind of... it takes some time. But it's worth it. So, uh oh. All right, all right. Let's turn the. Let's turn the wood chipper on, and let's just pull our boom in, lower it a little bit more. And just let it go. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna have to push it a little bit more to the side. There you go, it's dropping away. As you can see, that's the whole tree. The conveyor belt itself, just kind of try to keep it to the conveyor belt. Use your your boom just to kind of push it a little bit to the side. And, uh, I mean, the chipper will take care of the rest. I mean, that's all you guys have to do. You just got to line it up. I mean, it's a little bit of a hassle, but, I mean, it saves you more time than just, you know, cutting the tree by little pieces, little two or three meter pieces, and then having to pick up all those 20, 30 pieces that you just cut down just to, just to get your tree chipped down. So as you can see right here, now I just push a little bit more to the other side. Sometimes you're actually going to have to grab the tree, or never mind, I guess it's all by itself. Give it a little push to the side. Sometimes you're just gonna have to give it a little push from the back of here. Straighten it out. And I'll keep going its way. Alrighty, so as you can see, it's going all on by itself. Sometimes this last part is where you're going to have problems. So just, sometimes you're going to have to stop that conveyor belt because it'll keep moving into the side. Just line it up again. Turn that conveyor belt on and it's on its way. And there you guys go, and the last piece kind of disappears. I don't know where that went. <laughs> so, let's see. Okay. So, I already had some wood chips in here, but per tree, you guys probably get 10%. If you get one of those big, nice trees. If you get small ones, I don't know about that one. But for the big trees... You kind of get 10% out of it. And let me show you guys all the equipment that you guys have been needing. So we're going to go to the forestry equipment. And as you can see right here, this machinery cuts tree stumps. The FSI Tech ST65T. That's $5,000 or whatever 
your currency is or how you want to see it. So it's 5,000 farming simulator money, I would say. And they'll just cut down the tree stomps for you so you can come back with this Damcon right here, PL75. And this one, it's uh, I'll read the usage. This piece of machinery plants new trees into the ground. You can buy pallets and samplings at the garden center to fill this planter. So uh, I think the pallets are 20 trees. And you can plant 20 trees, but I mean, cut the tree stomps first. And then this one is for a trailer. It just transport tree logs. This one's the same thing. You can connect this to your, tra to your tractor. It'll transport tree logs. And this one right here, the Gens H8HEM583Z. It cost 88000 And this machinery breaks trunks into wood chips. And uh, you kind of need a little bit of horsepower, 250 horsepower. So to get it to actually um, turn your trunks into wood chips. And then this one's your ponds. And it's their buffalo. Yeah, just transport your tree logs. And this is ponds. Scorpion cake. So this is actually the harvester. This will cut down your trees. And let's go check out the tractors and show you guys at least. As you can see right here, I'll show you the horsepower. So you need a 250. So at least you're going to need... Uh, Wow, I don't know that name. I don't know how to say that name. Dilts Far. Now the 7250TTV. At least that one's starting, and then, of course, you can go all the way up, and then your tractors get stronger. The one that I currently have is 692 horsepower, so that's no problem, but of course, it needs a lot of maintenance, $600 a day. But yeah, guys, I mean, it's that simple. It doesn't, I mean, it's not that hard at all. And um, thank you for watching, and. I'll see you guys in another video. Have a nice day. And subscribe if you haven't already.